Oh my goodness, dude. I think we found the perfect place to store this boat, dude. Is our engine strapped up good? Right here, I think, will be the pond. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, we are here at the new Goon Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we had the sheetrock guys inside of the house and they finally knocked out the whole entire thing. We'll probably do a little walkthrough here in a little bit. And also you seen previously where we got a brand new piece of heavy equipment delivered up to the headquarters here, the KX-080-4. This thing is an absolute earth destroyer. And we're gonna do a lot more testing with it today. And we're probably gonna show you guys the location of the pond that we wanna build. And a couple days ago, we even bought something else epic. I don't know what you'd call it. It's a piece of fun, dude. That's all it is. It's actually a boat that we purchased from our neighbor because we just seen it on the side of the road and we just could not pass up on it for the price that we got it for. What do we pay? Some chocolate and some dum-dums for it? Chocolate and some dum-dums. 2,000 $2, bucks right here. We did, uh, you know, haggle a little bit. It was 2,600 bucks originally. We knocked it down to two grand and we did a little bit of research. And this bad boy right here alone is worth like 2,200 bucks. So everything that you see ahead of it is basically free, dude. Yep, so we got a, we got a, we bought a motor or an engine and a boat and a trailer hey, came with it for free, man. We bought a motor and then the floater came for free, basically. <laughs> so. Hey, and but this thing is legit, man. Dude, this thing is 100% legit. It came with three titles. Got a title for the engine here, which was maintained by Yamaha, the dealership. Got a title for this actual floater here and a title for the trailer, which all the lights work and all that good stuff, which that's just always a good thing. And actually a couple days ago, of course, as soon as we got it, we did put it to the test and here's the footage now. Alrighty boys, so check this out. We made it to the water and oh my goodness, it is super foggy. Super dude. foggy, dude. Oh, dude, that's kind of sketchy right there, man. It is. You don't want to have like a boat collision out here, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and check it out, see how far we can see. It literally looks like the water never ends, you know what I mean? Oh it just goodness. like goes. I mean, and you can kind of see, and it's like you could probably hear other boats, you know what I mean? Oh, for sure. We but... just want to go out there and test this sucker out, dude. It's just a beaut, man. You it know is what I mean? A be it's a little rusty a little bit, but it is full aluminum. So the actual hole is not rusty. It's got a Yamaha 25 horsepower, two stroke. Two stroke, got about half a tank. Hopefully it all runs perfect and all hey, the good stuff. What you see here is what we got other than the tackle boxes and the life jackets and the fishing poles. Yep. We just brought that along with us this morning. I don't think we'll be using those because how foggy it is. We're just gonna we're mainly just gonna test this sucker out right here. You Dude, know what I mean? It does have a this boat right here does have a deep hole, so it should be made for like you know waves and stuff. Waves but dude, this stuff. water is super calm. There is not like a trickle going on right now. Dude. dude this is about to be epic right here we just had we just had to get this thing we've seen it on the side of the road and we're so close to the river you know what and we need like we don't want something super big you know what i mean this is just perfect for us a aluminum boat with a little two stroke and we're ready to go dude, we're ready to rip this <laughs> thing dude yamaha 25 look at this propeller i mean it is immaculate i guess we'll go over all that other stuff later yeah. we're just eager to, to test it to out test it out let's go ahead and unstrap it and let's launch it, it.
you got to get used to this thing. Dude, this thing is so sketchy, but check this out, guys. We are on the river, super foggy. Super foggy. Super foggy, kind of hard to see, especially that way right there. But, I mean, the sun is coming out. Hopefully, it clears up here real soon. But we just hit a little bit of throttle, and this thing scoots. It scoots, dude. but it's getting a lot foggier towards the end over here, and I don't want to I don't wanna uh, go too fast. I'm just going to cruise right by the shore. Hey, what's the number one rule about uh, when you're testing out uh, your first new boat? Always go up river. Never go down river because if anything happens, you can always float to the dock. You can't paddle back up river. That is very true. We did grab a oar with us as well, just in case. You got life jackets, of course. Yeah, just in case uh, it does something happen, we're gonna float down the river. But it's always good to stay near the shore as well. Yeah, you know I mean, especially on very foggy mornings, you want to be very cautious of other boaters and luckily i don't think the river is actually moving fast today sometimes you'll see it it'll be like flowing yeah, really they, rapidly yeah the dam is closed today and i think we're good dude yes sir but i guess we're gonna do a little bit more testing and just uh get your blood pumping because this is a little bit sketchy here you know what i mean yeah very sketchy that's like my number one fear. there's people fishing this morning too that's like my number one fear is actually like sink a boat oh man especially that, when it's super cold especially with all of our equipment phones wallets everything <laughs> This thing moves, dude. This dude. thing rips, man. It, it, it carves some curves out pretty easily, It does, easily, man. Dude. We were just uh, cruising right along trolling because it was super foggy as yeah. soon as that sun poked through, man. Yeah, there's only like a certain spot just right here because as you can tell, there's a lot of fog there and there's a lot of fog there. Here, let me go ahead and just... Cut this that thing sucker off, off dude. It ran amazing. It did stall on us a couple times, so we were kind of sketched out. I, but. I think it's a user, user, you know, error right here. You know what I mean? Because I keep uh, putting, whenever I go like completely off the throttle, you're not really supposed to like jerk it down for some reason all the way to the bottom because it'll just cut it off real quick. Dude. Yeah, I mean, this thing could use a little bit of grease. You said there's a little grease point somewhere on that yeah, engine. Yeah, the right main there. shaft uh, that goes all the way down where this actually turns, it kind of, it's like kind of a little bit rough. So we need to grease that sucker up. But dude, this thing rips, dude, man. Dude, rips, and it's a little bit chilly outside but dude i've never seen this type of weather dude super i've never been on a river with this i've type never of been on a river and i've never been on a river with this type of weather right here dude yeah we've seen a couple boat a couple other fishing boats out there a couple hunters they yeah, come from the water dude yeah that's crazy well they don't hunt on the water they like will like pull up ashore and go hunting in the woods which is awesome but dude it is so beautiful out here oh nice my goodness peaceful, this is how you this is how you this is how you want to meditate dude <laughs> <laughs> this is legit because like with this type of boat right here you can just pull up to shore and just like if you catch a fish light a little fire man cook it you know camp you can do whatever you know what dude, i mean this is a perfect little boat and that's a super reliable engine right there hopefully. two stroke man hopefully yeah that's what i said hopefully but apparently from the previous owner it's super well maintained it's been serviced by the yamaha dealership and all that stuff yes man. sir but i guess we're just gonna check our fuel maybe do a little bit more ripping and head up back up to the house and get some work done guys so we are back at the house here and i gotta say we didn't catch no fish but i'll tell you what we did catch some vibes and some waves and some sun rays and a lot of fog but i'll tell you what this is probably the best thing two thousand dollars we've ever spent and probably one of the best boats we've ever bought wouldn't you say oh yeah dude we spent what like two thousand dollars on our other boat and this one i gotta say is a lot funner for it's some reason because i think it's because you got this throttle whiskey throttle right here and you can just spin the engine you don't have no steering wheel none of that nonsense it's dude. super simple low maintenance i just absolutely love it dude, dude. 
dude. This thing will last a lifetime right here. This is a old two smoke right here. Show how, just let's just look at the engine, how clean it is. Look at that, man. Dang, man, what is this, a two cylinder? I don't know what it is, but you see how clean it is. Not a single drop of oil, and there's cobwebs in here. That's how you know nobody's been messing with it. Oh, yeah, dude. So this thing is clean. We're super happy with this purchase. Let us know if you guys think we should actually refurbish this boat, or should we just leave it classic? I mean, I love that. that. I love the smoker craft right there. If you get smoked by a smoker craft, don't man, you just, don't mess with, don't mess around with these hey, things right don't here. Don't be mad if you get smoked by the <laughs> smoker craft. And we did add a seat this weekend, right? Because we went out there to try to catch some more fish, and we just, Nothing. no good look man i don't know if it's the type of season we're just not fishermen man hey, let us know the tricks i know there's some fishermen <laughs> out there but anyways we're done with this we're gonna set this sucker aside store it probably probably take the engine off so it doesn't freeze on us <laughs> but anyways let's hop inside and show you guys what the sheet rockers got done Right, guys so check this out this house is not the same anymore on the interior these guys absolutely knocked it out with the sheetrock let's just go ahead and hop inside right here and dude just look at the progress in here dude, dude look at this this is a dining room right here in the kitchen over there and it doesn't feel like i thought it was going to feel a lot smaller with a sheetrock but yes. it feels normal yeah it feels normal it feels exactly what i was thinking how it would feel would it be like a super massive room and it wouldn't like close it in i felt like it would just close everything in but that's a good thing that we installed that big old window there and we installed this big old glass door up front which is bringing in a lot of light in here opening it all up and it's just going to give you a good example of how it'll look whenever everything is painted white in here dude was oh, that what the color you're thinking about I going white? white yeah i'm thinking about doing white and like doing some different type but that's all later on right now dude just check it out dude the cans in the ceilings which i love how flush everything is going to be it's going to look really good they knocked out the sheetrock on the lvl on the stairs it's crazy because we had a wall here we had an entry door there and now everything is just completely transforming uh, before our eyes and we're seeing our great progress that dude, we made dude. amazing progress is getting done here look at this one this is my favorite wall right here dude, oh, i got a favorite wall <laughs> dude, this is a pretty cool wall because it starts from the bottom goes all the way up to the top and you can get a little shot of the ceiling over there what they finished up that's just absolutely wow, amazing dude there, the dude. vaulted ceiling just look absolutely insane it looks dude. really good i mean let's just do a quick walk through i mean the kitchen right here is all done they did that wall right there where our little countertop little slash little uh island is gonna be walk through the hallway over here they knocked out our bathroom and i mean you're just moving on to our big living room slash office area this is what we're going to actually use as our office we're going to have some desk over there but dude look at this dude this what? looks super good dude, dude it does not look the same at all dude, dude it actually honestly it looks better than it did you know what i mean now that everything is nice and clean with that door right there the windows all that good stuff man we are just moving right along and there's a little spot up there which uh, we have an issue with the garage door actually hitting the ceiling so we had to take that piece off we'll do a little bit of trim in there raise it up about an inch and we'll be done there. no big deal but look at that look at that little transition right there. that's pretty cool it looks a little <laughs> funky but once the mud guys come out here right the, the mud guys should be out here hopefully fingers crossed this week once the mud gets on here everything is gonna be nice and smooth all the corners just angled properly and all that good stuff dude, dude. it's gonna look insane i can't wait to see that process there let's we actually got a few little things that they got to finish up in here right yeah they're gonna sheet rock this we just ran out a sheet rock but we brung some this morning so they'll knock that out probably today bathroom looks nice and cool in here it's all finished all blue, up. blue room but anyways that's pretty much it i yeah, guess that's pretty much it for this i mean we're probably gonna do a better walkthrough once it's all mudded up you know maybe even some paint on the walls which that's just gonna be absolutely amazing. are we gonna paint this house ourselves i don't know i'm thinking that we might as well just paint it, it shouldn't be too hard you know what i mean let us know, know. <laughs> let us know what you guys think should we we're definitely not mudding i've seen mud and it's pretty hectic oh heck no dude this stuff right here i, I don't even know how to fool with it but anyways <laughs> we gotta go ahead and prep something else 
else that's going to be happening this week. As you guys know, our back air, backyard area over here, we talked about how we're going to get that poured in concrete and possibly stamped, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to stamp that in some nice, like, cobblestone slash, like, brick pattern uh, stamp on that floor, which is just going to look absolutely amazing. And we got to go ahead and prep that area. As you know, we got the stairs on there. We got a bunch of wood that we need to go ahead and remove and probably return it and all that good stuff. And just basically even prep the, the gravel a little bit. He said we got to slant it and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, and right? we also got some more gravel out front. I totally forgot that a dump truck actually came out with some more gravel. Yeah. But we do got to run to the original Goon Squad garage because our uh, skid steer is there. Plus our, our trailer. trailer. We need yeah. to grab two trailers, yeah, right? Yeah, we need to grab the trailer that the skid steer is on, and we need to grab just our regular car hauling trailer. That way we can haul all this stuff off. That way we can get get everything ready. And the reason why our skid steer is at the original Goon Squad garage is because we actually helped out a few friends this weekend try to clear out some land. We just help whenever we can, you know what I mean? Because we're so busy. We're so busy we can't even like get away from making content for you guys because yeah. we love you guys and we love our friends too. And we try to just mix the two together. Yeah, so we did a little bit of bush hogging, you know, put that thing to work. So so let's just go ahead and actually run down the mountain, grab everything that we need, and come back up here and start clearing out this backyard. guys so it is actually the next day here and check out this backyard dude nice and clean man yeah, dude hauled off all that lumber and we hauled off all the trash and stuff like that just to get it ready to actually grade this whole entire thing that's why we brung out the skid steer the other day as well but we didn't have time to because we had to call it an early day because we forgot this bad boy right here that dude. leaf blower you can't do anything with these leaves on here because you do not want to pour concrete over those leaves i'm sure you could but i don't think that's ideal dude yeah we want it nice and solid we want a strong piece of concrete back here since it's getting stamped and it's just gonna look really good so we're gonna go ahead and actually blow all these leaves off get rid of everything and then we're gonna fire up the skid steer and start grading some gravel
Alrighty guys, so now that we got the whole entire backyard leaf blowed and also we got the gravel graded, it is almost 100% ready for some concrete. There is just a little bit more work that we gotta do back here and we're actually gonna bring in our excavator because we wanna take out some of that dirt that's along those rocks right there because it's better to do it now than later because it's gonna be really hard to get back there. We'll probably end up having to do it by shovel. So we wanna go ahead and take care of that with our big old excavator. Might as well put some hours on that thing because I don't even think it has one hour on it, does it? I don't know, dude, it may have one hour, I don't know. <laughs> dude, I think right now it's counting minutes, dude, if I'm not mistaken, we'll have to take a look at that. But anyways, let's go ahead and actually probably get this out of the way right quick and then we're gonna bring in our excavator. Yes, sir, dude. How many hours we got on it now? We got about five hours on it, dude. I believe we put only like two to three. The uh, The rest was from the dealership, but dude, check out that smoker craft up there. Look at man. that. We thought it was just gonna be a good idea to park that sucker up there and also test your expertise, you know dude, what I mean? This thing is made for lifting, so it can lift up to 12,000 pounds, I don't know, and that thing probably weighs like 200 pounds or something Th that like that. That thing is super light. Maybe a little bit more, maybe like 300 pounds due to that engine or whatnot, but man, we got that stuff cleaned up in the back yep, also. Yeah, got it all ready to go, dude, but dude, one of my main concerns is to how to store this thing, and I think that's the perfect storage thing. I, right couldn't, there, dude. I couldn't think of a better way to store <laughs> that thing up there. The only thing is we gotta get a cover for that thing if it yep. does rain or something yeah, like that. Yeah, get a cover, and we probably need to like go ahead and like chalk the wheels somehow that's that way that sucker don't end up in the woods one day or something like that hey. because it gets pretty strong and windy up here yeah, dude. so that wind will blow that thing clean off of there but anyways we're done with the excavator plenty of practice you're getting real good on that sucker yeah, we're, we're trying man we're trying but right now. now one of our biggest things is to actually we were talking about building a pond on our property here and uh, I mean, you want to go ahead and actually show them where our idea of a pond is going to be? Yeah, you know let's do I mean? it. And we found just one perfect spot because it's kind of hard. We don't want to put a pond anywhere on the top end of this property. There's going to be a shop there and we want to keep that all flat, right? Yeah, and we want to keep as much land open as possible. So one of our biggest ideas is to actually build a pond right down this little ravine right here. As you can tell, this hill drops right there. There's actually a nice big open spot right there where we can actually dig something. And the perfect uh, thing about that spot is there's a bunch of runoff that comes off of this hill straight and it'll go straight into the pond basically filling the pond up every time it rains you yes know sir I mean? there's actually a nice little ravine or a ditch right here let's see if we can see this right quick and it runs straight down and i'm guessing that looks like a waterway straight down right there and as you can tell it's a little bit better view it's nice and let's go down there dude yeah let's go Whoa. right here i think will be the pond dude yes sir right here is a nice little open spot we're definitely gonna have to take out some trees probably some of these bigger trees but it is nice and flat and the waterways run directly here yeah directly to it and there's gonna be like whenever we pull all this dirt out we're gonna move it out towards it further that way expanding even the pond that way and once it does fill up it's the perfect thing because uh whenever there is overfill it's just gonna float into that massive ditch that's over there so i mean i think we got a pretty dang good idea i'm not a pond expert i'm just getting a feel for the land and we got the equipment to do it so might as well man. might as well and we're definitely gonna talk to some more uh, pond experts so so we're going to keep you guys as updated as possible on this pond build here, but that's pretty much it. Let us know what you guys think. Yeah, let us know. But guys, that is pretty much going to be a wrap for today's video. We're definitely going to probably store that smoker craft inside of the container. We were just doing that for some testing purposes there. But with all that being said, make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be 
sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.